um, for those of you that do not remember anything from the class. Um, so basically, ladies and gentlemen, when we are factoring, remember we have a times x squared uh, plus bx plus c. Okay. Now, when we when we were doing uh, quadratics, the first thing I always told you guys was that you know identify a, b, and c. You know, make sure you guys know that. So in this case, you guys can see a is one, c is negative eight. So we're going to write in negative eight, and then our b is negative seven. So what you guys are trying to identify is what two terms multiply to give you negative eight and add to give you negative seven. And I can give you guys a helpful hint: when you are multiplying and give you a negative number, one of your terms has to be negative. Or I'm sorry, one of your factors has to be negative. You can't have two positive, ne two positive multiplied to give you a factor or two negative multiplied to give you a negative. So it has to be negative. So then we look at what two numbers multiply to give you negative 8. Negative 8 and, you know, are 8 and 1, 4 and 2. That's it. But since they're adding to give you a negative number, the larger of your factors has to be negative. So it's either negative 8 and positive 1 or negative 4 and positive 2. Those are your only two choices. And our, and our answer finally ends up being negative 8 and positive 1. Now, just because I had to do this for the last class, I'm going to show you the long way, just real quick, just so you guys have an understanding of what we're doing. Because, guys, this is the most basic factoring problem we have done. We've already gone through ones where a is not 1, right? And we had to do the box method and so forth. So I'm just going to go over what you do, so therefore you guys understand the process with it. The best thing I would recommend to do until you really understand factoring is to take your values inside and put it into the box. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is I want you guys to understand. Do you guys agree with me that what is inside this box, you can combine the middle terms. If you combine the middle terms, what's inside this box is the same as this problem. Do you guys agree with me? Yeah. OK. But what's helpful is now that I've put it in the box, remember what we did over there? We did the box method. We multiplied to find what was in the box. Now we want to determine what do I have to multiply to get what's in the box. So I say, what, give, what times what gives me x squared? x times x. x times what gives me positive 1x? x times what gives me negative 8. So therefore, my factored form is x plus 1 times x minus 8. Okay. Now, what's helpful about this is when what's the kind of the tip, the, tri the easy way, is when a is equal to 1, notice how these numbers are in your factors. You guys see that? However, don't get that confused because when a is not 1, these numbers are not the same numbers. You have to use the box. Okay? So you can always use the box if you want to. You don't have to. You can always use it. Um, however, a little bit of a trick is these are the same as, as your factors when a is equal to 1. Okay? So that is your factored form. And again, we're not solving. We're just factoring right now.